This is the Pod Craft Beer Show, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. Today is episode 12 for Monday, October 5th. Uh, today we're going to talk about a sour from Moxa uh, and the Black is Beautiful San Diego Mega Collab. <laughs> This is the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 12 for Monday, October 5th. Today we'll review a beer from Moxa uh, and the San Diego uh, Mega Collab, Black is Beautiful. Uh, but first, I'm your host, Chris. We've got your other host, Charlie. Yo. we got tech guy, Steve. Hello. Steve is looking really techy. Steve is looking techy. <laughs> the, uh, so today we got, uh, got a couple of beers. But first, guys, did you, uh, you guys have anything decent to drink this week? Well, I um, opened up that glass O that Charlie brought back from uh, the other half. The other half, right? Yeah, totally awesome. So I, I, I think it. I, I wrote that it's probably my favorite um, double. I think IPA. The, the exact words were, "This is the best pale or IPA or pale? double double IPA double IPA yeah. I've ever had." They make such phenomenal beers. I'd it, say it's yes. so hazy. That, yeah, and but it's not a hazy. You know, like. They didn't call it a hazy, but they could have, I guess. I think there's very few of their beers that come out that aren't hazy, but when they are, I mean, when they are non-hazy, they're just as legitimate as the hazy ones. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter. You can't really miss with them. So, good call on that drink. So, I um, uh, I ordered some beers last week from uh, North Park. Uh, They did a collaboration, a West Coast IPA with uh, Green Cheek that, uh, that came out last week. It was phenomenal. Haven't tried it. It's unbelievable. It's oh. I mean, it's so like they um just like that green cheek and and I haven't I haven't had a whole lot of beers from uh, uh North Park, but what I've had I've I've been uh, uh been I mean it's been super great, it's super they, good. They had two of them though, right? They did. Yeah, I sent I I think I had two beers sent over here. Yeah. That, that mosaic cup, I think, or party cup. Yeah, it's a mosaic uh, lager. I mean, that's phenomenal as well. I didn't try uh, either the, one. Of those. Um, the collaboration with Green Cheek was just a really good West Coast IPA. It had me remembering, like, it, it was bringing back, like, popping beers five, six years ago, right? Yeah. Before, like, hazy IPAs really took over. Well, I jumped on a bunch of Humble C this week. So, oh. I was drinking those just to get them out of the way because I was recharging with other beers and stuff. So, I popped a few of those. They were all delicious. All the foggies were delicious. They are it lights out. I, I was just telling somebody earlier this week i think that's my favorite um probably consistent brewery that i that i've been kind of going to all of their foggies are unbelievable yeah they do a good job everything is they're they're getting pretty creative with the names of their beers so i like it i like it a lot bunch of kooks up there running that spot yeah yeah they had you know they're there's a waiting list for that kook uh, membership too. kooks club yeah yeah they uh i definitely want to want to look at that they have a, a bottle lottery we were a bottle uh sale this week uh supporting the santa cruz mountains uh trying to trying to raise some money for that so uh auction yeah a little auction maybe we'll end up with a couple of those beers give it a shot hey so uh while you're popping that beer real quick Are we ready i am ready yeah uh, i'm gonna just uh go through uh some housekeeping here real quick go ahead hey guys uh to connect with the show uh you can get all of our our show notes with links to everything mentioned uh on the podcast today uh go to www.thepodcraft.com the website has links to help you subscribe so you won't miss an episode, uh, links to connect on social media, photos of the beers we consumed, links to the breweries, uh, more details on the beers mentioned, and much more. Uh, just head on over to thepodcraft.com for all the links. What do you think of that, Charlie? I haven't, I'm waiting for you to pour it. All right, so our first beer today is uh, Aloha State of Mind. From uh, It's a collaboration between Moxa uh, and Life Lab. Uh, it's an Imperial Sour Blonde. Uh, with ilokai or uh, li- lilikai, guava, coconut, lactose. Wow. I like it. Is that all right? Smells great, that's for sure. We're good. Uh, worth trying. We're, they're all worth trying, I guess. So a couple of years ago, there's a there's a brewery, um, Inu Island Ales in Kaneeho, uh, um, Hawaii. And they had made uh, moxa. And this guy, Jason, who started Life Lab, he's, he's here in northern uh, San Diego, Um he was he, he was associated with Inu Island Ales, and they had made these uh, they had made this beer under a different name. Tastes great. It's it's sour, but it's not super sour, and it's not super tart. You get a lot of fruit coming out of there. That's for sure. The color's gorgeous. Yeah, you, you certainly taste that that passion fruit. It's um, I think with that that lactose and the 
The passion fruit guava. I have to be there? honest, I'm not a big fan of lactose. Yeah. I mean, I, I know it serves a purpose, but mm-hmm. I haven't, I don't know what yet. Is that so. milk sugar giving you that mouthfeel? Is that milk what it is? Milk sugar is definitely a big, big plus for me. It smells delicious. Yeah, that's certainly, um, that's really, yeah, that's a, that's a really, really tasty beer. I, um, I don't know that I could drink more than one of them, though. No, that's that's good because they had a really small limit. It's pretty. <laughs> Luckily, like, oh, yeah. The good the good news is, is all I was able to get of that is one can. There you go. You're set. So we uh, we won't have to run into that issue of drinking. No, this I, I just it's very rich. I mean, it's got a lot of sweetness in there. I like it, but it's it's very rich. It is good. It's it's a uh, uh, an imperial sour, so. A little heavier, maybe, and you know, maybe I think it comes across maybe a little heavier than a lot of the the lighter sours that we've been drinking. Yeah, it is. But that's a super tasty uh, imperial bond for sure. You definitely, definitely the fruit mouthful. comes through. Well, it's actually it's it's huge on the palate. Like most of the stuff will catch certain parts of your palate, and this one is hitting everything. I mean, yeah. it's all over the place. So interestingly enough, I'm going to say it one more time. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say I'm a fan of that. Let's drink more of it. You got any more cans? I don't. Bummer. That was uh, that was all we were able to get. Is just uh, just one of those. I actually got that from. Uh, so how many do you think they made? Like, it was a really small release. So normally they'll do like you can get um like four four packs. I think this one. I think you could get two four packs on the release, and then um, I, I the the guy I get my beer couldn't was unable to get any more. It sold right. out really quick. They had they um. I think on Tuesdays after they they normally do their Saturday releases, and if they have anything left over from their local release, they'll put it online and you can order it for for shipment. It didn't make it online. There was oh. a lot of people that were um, insistent upon getting it before it got there. Yeah, there. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of like social media buzz. It was the second time they had made that beer, uh, and when they they posted a picture of the of Jason from Life Lab and and um, and Derek the the brewer at Moxa. Super and tasty. and people were lighting the uh, lighting it up, asking for this beer to come back. So who's Life Lab? Uh, so he's um, it's the the guy that was originally um, uh, he he's a it's a lifestyle brand here in San Diego. Mm. Uh, they do a lot of collabs like Moxa um, with um, Jay Wakefield, Mostra. Um, You're speaking my language. Yeah, so he he definitely. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's just a super dialed in guy, but but a a, a, a startup lifestyle brand that they. Um, I also think the guy works in, in in tech as well. Like I think he has a. Well, I, I mean, I know he has a day job, but the, uh, um, which I think is pretty. Uh, probably not all that important to him. <laughs> I you know I think he's probably at a point in his life where he wants to uh, uh, do something on his own. Maybe spread his wings. Yeah, you know a couple guys like that. Yeah. I suggest they highly that they do it. That means we get more beer <laughs> to drink. That's always a plus for me. I'll drink it. Yeah, that's that's really good. Hey, so I got some news this week on um, uh, Kyle Horace. I uh, had sent out an email. He uh, a couple weeks ago was um, he had a uh, um, he had his first release for the new club year where yeah. where you were going to pick up uh, the first bottles from from the release. Like the proper dose part two and the cocoa dose, and then a bunch of uh, he was handing out a bunch of uh, your your club bottles, so like three or four barrel aged beers. Well, some guys had picked those beers up. Uh, it was the day that 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 I had uh, I came home from Minnesota, so I missed the release. I'd planned on going last weekend, and and then they they canceled the release uh, for an emergency, had a family emergency, and then he he came out and said um, there had been some reports that people were saying that these beers had an off flavor. They'd had a um, kind of a, a sour flavor to some of his barrel aged stouts. So, so I'm 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 reporting that anyone that thinks that they might have a bad bottle, I'm willing to try it for them before I, they drink it. And I would too, because he, um, you know, he. So so uh, Kyle had had busted open. There was two different stouts that he that he busted into. I, I want to say it was 24 total bottles of these beers that he had that he had went through tasting for this this. Um, the sour taste. And I, I think he had said he had found it in 6% of the bottles. So there was, I think it was two bottles total that he had, that he had bumped into. And he, he said that that's two bottles too many. So he's rebrewing that whole batch. Wow. Um, and he, he was, he was kind of bummed out because it was, 
he said two of the most expensive beers he had ever ever brewed. Yeah, and then those were the two that had. Uh, that well, had that's sour. that's that's standing up for his product, though. He's he that, wants it to be perfect. And I that's understand it. Understand that, and, and uh, uh, that's good for sure. Yeah. So no, just uh, just hopefully. Cheers um, to him. Hopefully, it's uh, you know just isolated to that small batch, and he he's able to figure out what component his his. Uh, you know, he he was trying to figure out what component it was that could have interjected that because um, I can't imagine how much money that um, I don't know that many people make beers that are as expensive to make with a grain bill and the, the ingredients that that guy puts yeah. into his beers. So to have that much money wrapped up in your brewery and then um, wonder where that wild yeast is coming from or, or whatever's causing that, right? Hmm. Probably be a little a little bit scary. So, wow, that's unfortunate. But I mean, I'm glad he's he's he looks. At it like, hey, let's rectify the problem and uh, figure it out and get it taken care of. I he wants like every beer to, to be uh, just dialed in. Yeah, and they are most, I mean, 99.9% of the time. I mean, they're, they are legit. Yeah, no, they I should probably go up there to Oceanside and stand outside that place with a sign saying, hey, if you want to drop off your uh, contaminated bottles, unopened, of course, <laughs> I will be more than willing to take them off your hands. I agree. Because I'm willing to go through the job of testing all those. Yeah, Why well, yeah, exactly? To open it up to a to a that, lottery. Or that should have been a party. <laughs> I would have definitely paid for admission to that. Yeah, like you could have told. Like he could have reimbursed himself for all the trouble. Oh gosh, I I would have definitely. I'm sure you could have gotten numerous guys in there for a. Uh, you know, like I I would have gladly went in there Stout and fest. listened. You know, tasted beers with Kyle and listened to him tell me how they tasted and what was wrong with them. <laughs> you kidding me? Yeah. Like let me get that education yeah, real yeah. quick. Like. You, How much you want? I just said something. Stout Fest. I think we should have one. Just get everybody together and just make these crazy adjunct stouts and just drop them all on people and let's see what they think. So, other half does their uh, their big beer festival. It's called Pastry Town. Yeah, but that's in New York. It is. Yeah. I mean, right now, What's there's not a whole lot going on in New York. Not a whole lot going on anywhere. Yeah, I know. But the, like this Aloha State of Mind... You know, I remember when that was a cool thing to say that, and because you could get to Hawaii and lay on the beach and stuff. But I don't know if it's more like the COVID state was, of mind. <laughs> I was actually supposed to do this Tuesday. I was supposed to be going to Hawaii. Oh, was, yeah, I was uh, on a phone call this morning with some guys from Hawaii, and they want to get off the island. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they didn't get the, they didn't cricket. get their summer vacation into the oh, right. continental United States or wherever little island. Yeah, fever they're, going they're, on. they're going a little stir yeah. crazy. So the uh, I can understand that. Yeah, I was really looking forward to getting over there. I'd like to go get a little island fever. I'm gonna soon enough. Fever. So, uh, so the second beer, you know, speaking of Horace, the second beer we have is that uh, that that uh, Black is Beautiful San Diego Mega Collaboration. Do you want to read off all the names? Um, so I can while you're popping it open, I think I I might be able to run something Good, down. That means I get to drink before you. So the uh, this was a, a pretty big um. Uh, pretty big collaboration. Twenty breweries. Oh, I think this is fouled, guys. I have to drink it all myself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you guys to be contaminated at all. So step back. Let so, a professional do this. <laughs> so there was, um, you know, all kinds of all kinds of weathered souls started the 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 Black is Beautiful uh, project, Ooh. and and uh, all around the country, uh, these breweries making Black is Beautiful and and, and doing their rendition, uh, similar to. Um, the, the previous fire beer that we did. I forget what that was. Um, but uh, so, so for this brewery, uh, it was Kyle from, uh, from Horace uh, and Alesmith got together uh, and brought together at Alesmith, Abnormal, Automatic, Bagby, Belching Beaver, uh, Burgeon, Fall, Harland, Helia, Horace, Mason Ale Works, Modern Times, North Park, the original 40, Pure Project Resident, Second Chance, South Norte, Stave and Nail. It's on my hit list. And Taproom Beer Company. All together. Holy cow. With uh, Geisha Coffee from uh, Mar- Maria. Maria. Holy stop. That's crazy. That list is ridiculous. That's like yeah. the top legitimate breweries. I mean, some aren't on there, but those are some. They got nice some heavy hitters places. on there. Yeah. They got some heavy hitters. I mean, that so lineup is stacked. They say this real robust uh, alternative version uh, is an imperial stout that features cacao nibs, cinnamon, cacao, geisha coffee, <laughs> vanilla beans, and weighs in at 12.5%. Proceeds are donated to San Diego for justice. 
I'm going to tell you right off, it's got a great little head on it. I like a head on my stouts for some reason yeah. or not. But a uh, nice foamy head, huh? Yeah, cool. I like it. I'm I'm a big fan of the little head. I mean, because you know what? You smell a little cinnamon in there? I a seem bit to get a little bit better smell out of it that way. Yeah, there is cinnamon in there. I can smell it. Cinnamon and cocoa? Is that the cocoa? Cacao. Cacao. <laughs> it's got a great mouthfeel. Wow, and that's really, that coffee comes really, really good. You know what? Like, it's 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 odd tasting at first. There's a lot going once on it, there. Yeah, once it gets through, I like the ending a lot. That coffee you really of tastes a lot of a lot of cinnamon, a lot yeah. of floral notes. I think from that geisha coffee. Wow, I've, I've never but, had that geisha coffee. So that's that's the good stuff. I got a. Is gotta, that the one that the animals eat and then poop out? No, nah, that's the like Kopi Luwak. I, <laughs> oh, Kopi you know what? Luwak, you know what? Yeah. This will do. I got some beers. I got a Kopi Luwak stout. I have a geisha coffee stout. Okay, we're gonna do a, an all stout show. We should do that. But I, I'm trying to get to the uh, Oktoberfest show. Can we do that next week? <laughs> We're going to have to. Yeah. Be, I'm going to see if the warden, will, I mean, the wife will uh, cook up some uh, bratwurst and uh, German potato salad. That's her heritage. She's going to rock that if, if I'm nice to her for a couple of years. There you go. Hey, so another thing, guys, that I that I just brought. This is really phenomenal beer. It tastes really, wow. really good. Yeah, I agree. So, so the, you so guys this are really... Year, it's pretty good, huh? <laughs> yeah, like super, like yeah. It, it's, it's not very the, good. It's, it's not getting super better too. Thick, not the pastry style, you know, not super thick. But as far as just a regular stout, it's like really, and it really sits on your tongue, like after you. Yeah, like, yeah. No, that's it. A, doesn't sit. It attacks your tongue. It's sitting there beating the cheese out of your taste buds, going, "This is amazing." Yeah, that's a uh, that's a, a phenomenal beer. It's I was I'm really excited to be able to uh, uh, grab a couple of those. Um, that was a, a club level or a, a Horace. Uh, well, him and, and the guy from Alesmith set it up. Uh, so he they they had set it up so we could buy a couple bottles of this for, for club members. But I know it was on their website, so it didn't completely sell out. It was available only at Alesmith. Um, I'm, not I'm tasting it bitter chocolate in there, other than cacao nibs. Yeah, but that doesn't mean it it is or isn't. So I'm just saying it's. It tastes a little different to me. Each time it's getting a little more flavorful. Maybe it's the my palate changing. I should have probably rinsed in between the uh, drinky, Aloha drinky. to the uh, to this one. But uh, hey, you know what? I'm I'm living dangerously. Two things I'm not as scared nor responsible. That's right. That's right. Hey, so um, Great American Beer Festival is this month. What? Well, normally Great American. So Beer it's going to be like Denver. the. The what is it, Zoom Great American Beer Festival? It is actually. It's going to be. So what they did this year, and and um, you know, I, I didn't realize. You know, I'm like, oh dang, I, I selfishly, I'm like, another beer festival goes down. I don't get a like that beer festival. What it does for like like you know the the home brewers club and all of these, like that beer festival brings in three million dollars for this uh, um, for these guys annually. Uh, so this year for the GABF, they're doing a, a little passport thing where you can you can purchase a passport. It's like twenty dollars virtual passport, and it gives you um. There's a handful of breweries in San Diego that'll give you a, like a free taster, or I think I brought up to you guys, uh, Thorn Street. We'll do a a personalized Zoom, uh, so you can put together your guys. They'll ship out beers to a few different states. If Danny and Bree want to do a uh, beer, we'd send them a, a six pack. We get a bunch of people on, and, and they host. Uh, so that was one of the deals. Oh, so that. so it's not just us watching them; it's all of us watching each other watch them. Oh, it'd be us watch. with the Zoom. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Which would be kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, that would be. You, know, you can get six, seven yeah. people. I'm on going there. to Steve's house because he. I mean, he's, <laughs> I probably wouldn't be able to pull that up. <laughs> the, yeah, so that was. I have issues cool. with Zoom. <laughs> there was a lot of other things that were going on in there. A lot of special things. Um, what did I see? There was one brewery, Weldworks, actually the brewery we were just talking about. I was trying yeah, to get a beer yeah. from. Their uh, newest Media Noche, I think, is the their their big beer, uh, is only going to be available to people that have these passports. Wow! So I have. Uh, so I picked up a passport the other day. Cool. But uh, so if you're looking for discounts around town, gives you some really good deals. Twenty percent off at Pier. A couple other uh, places give you. a Give you a decent little deal. I'm gonna need twenty percent off. And you you then get access. I, I always like to watch like the the awards, like on the sixteenth and seventeenth or the, yeah. the the I think it's the seventeenth is the the awards ceremony. So you can watch that online, like virtually. Virtual which, award. Yeah, which would be cool. You know, have a beer. I, I that's usually how I'm doing it, watching it on a web page and 
or refreshing and seeing like which San Diego breweries won. Shocking. You're drinking beer while watching beer? No, right. That's, so, that's pretty much It's kind of neat to watch these local guys. <laughs> we live in an area that as you're, you know, like, I mean, there's a crazy amount of categories, but we live in an area that there's going to be medals, right? Like, so you're like certainly going to know a lot of these beers that, that show up there. So that's kind of enjoyable. I, mm, I like it. This thing smells amazing. I'm going to have to give it that. I mean, the taste is, is a little richer than I'm used to. Uh-huh. Maybe a little bitter. I thought it was, it was, it was smoothing out a little bit. Now it's jacking back up on my tongue. So cinnamon. Maybe is that, just, co- yeah, that cinnamon. There's a lot of cinnamon in there, I think. I'm going to taste it, but I mean, that's not my favorite flavor, but. Right. I wonder what you put cinnamon in. That's a, uh, I'm gonna investigate that this week. You know, where do you have? Like, what's that offsetting? What's the flavor that you're looking to offset? Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, it's good. That's for dang sure. No, that certainly is. uh, It's very, very tasty. I don't don't smell near near as much cinnamon on the nose as I do on the taste. That's for sure. But it smells pretty, just slightly boozy. So, if you get one person from every one of those breweries, you got 21 guys making uh, making a beer. There must have been one to get a finger in there. Right. Yeah, exactly. Right. I mean, and then... Then is it crazy to say that, you know, hey, you know what? You, you're you going to have to just shake the bottle or something. Right. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah. What, <laughs> what, how do you break up the jobs? You get to yeah, bottle like, this. You 15 guys, I hope your backs don't hurt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> going at the end of the day. Right? <laughs> like, we'll be the brains. You guys get and brawn. who's in charge of that? <laughs> right. Yeah, right. I mean, who's, who's saying who gets to throw, you know, adjuncts in there? And yeah. then somebody's like, oh, I brought some, uh, you know. Is this like a one day thing? It was, yeah, yeah. So they do it in one day, uh, yeah, which was pretty cool. They, did they build, videotape it or did they? No, they how, didn't. They, yeah, they just. Um, yeah, that, that would have been. That would have been. Awesome. It would be kind of yeah. neat. Yeah, to, to see let's that mic them all up and then <laughs> right. See how this goes. Yeah, because there's definitely Notice the tech some, guy wants to go totally tech on that personality <laughs> beer uh, making <laughs> there. Yeah, for sure. A bunch of you know cameras in everybody's faces. Right, that'd be yeah. awesome. No, like yeah, those Blair Witch ones, you yeah. know, which is just like connected to their shoulder and they yeah. got to run around and it's in their face the whole time. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, um, that's a lot of people. I'm a fan. That's, that's like a lot. A, that's like a documentary thing that they it could is. be doing it all the time, been. right? They did it at the right brewery, though. That Alesmith Brewery is like impressive. It's huge, it's too, is It's super, isn't it? super. Yeah, it's, it's really good size. So it's, it, it's, it's so like they almost built that thing thinking a pandemic was coming. I mean, it's big compared to how like little their old one was. So they're, yeah. they're and, and, and I mean, their their old brewery was is now the McKellar, right? Yeah. So you can go in there and um, it's not a very. It's crazy. I think they 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 spent fifteen sixteen years in that spot, and it's two units, like in a in a it is yes commercial complex. Yes. Yeah, they have the kind of the front room over in the, the side. They have a, a room you can bring, you know, probably 15, 20 people in. And then they have that back area, which used to be the canning, kind of the brewery area. Um, that that was all. It has like kind of been cleared out. You remember that time we went up there? I was getting on that food truck. I'm just whooping down food. And you, yeah. You're like, uh, hey, uh, you know that's all fake meat, right? Yeah. So, so he and, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what? So me and Charlie went it's up just for a like chicken. Release. Right. And he's like, hey, he's like, uh, let's run up here for this can release and I'll, uh, I'll buy you lunch. And I was like, I'd, I'd like seen and I was like, yeah, it was like, it was some Chinese, oh, it was a like Chinese about. vegan restaurant or something. Yeah, it was totally vegan. That's and people were like raving about it. We went in and people were like all raving. It was raving good. It. it was good. <laughs> but Charlie was eating that food like, I like, I mean, he's like, oh, this is so good. It's unbelievable. And then I, t- I was like. You know, it's like tofu, right? <laughs> it's like, oh, huh? it was like, wait a second, what? it was like shaggy. No. <laughs> it was, it was really good. But watching Charlie eat it, like, you know, he just had this, which is like, he obviously, obviously liked it. No, he was like, this is damn, phenomenal, it was good. and it, it was, was good, really good, and it was good. So I went into it. It literally speaks to like preconceived notions, right? Because Charlie like was like, this is unbelievable. It's so good. And then I'm like, I don't know how it could be that good. No, I hadn't tofu. eaten for three days though. I mean, I think it was. <laughs> Yeah, just I think came he, off the trail. He slowed down a little bit when I told him it was tofu. <laughs> no, it was no, it was good. No, he totally didn't. No, I don't know how good. they made that tofu into chicken wings though. That <laughs> the molds must have been ridiculously <laughs> cool. <laughs> I would just like press them in there, and I was woofing them down like there. There are no bones in these chicken wings. <laughs> I don't know how they do it. <laughs> that was uh, yeah, no, that was certainly a highlight of uh, brewery stops. That was fun. Yeah, that was a good time. We, and we drank some good beer. 
I think that I think that's when we picked up that passion pool. May have been. There was, you know, we had a lot of really good runs over there. Yeah. Remember that that time we went in there and they did three collaborations: a single IPA, a double IPA, a triple IPA. One of them was Green Cheek. One was Pure Project. I do remember. Forget that. who the third was, but all three of them were absolutely bangers. But I think really that good. was a passion pool release. The one that we got the could have been. Well, that might even been the other one. I don't know. I, I don't remember the it, first no, time. I don't think it was me and you. Josh was with when we got the. Three. Well, I remember the first time I went there with without you. And they had a release. I was like the second person in line. And you're you're like texting me, hey, you're on their Instagram feed. And I'm like, I'm not on Instagram. I could care less, you know. <laughs> yeah, they were posting line updates. And I was wondering, I was texting Charlie. I was like, I wonder where he's at. And then they posted like line updates. And I was like, oh, no, we're good. He's yeah. way up front. He's I can right see him up there. <laughs> I saw Nick the other day at uh I was I was looking at uh, a 450 North. Yeah. yeah, I was I was I was looking at a, a 450 North release, and, and somebody had posted some pictures from the release, and I was like, "Oh, there's Nick." <laughs> so Nick, if you're listening, hide my mail every hide day. behind some other big old 450 North guy. So Charlie, what do you got for a uh, for a closer? As I uh, kind of wrap some stuff up. Well, the after there. party is about to start. After potty, I'm sorry. What do you got there? I have a strawberry cream. Cake rules everything around me. This is a imperial pastry sour from uh, Wild Bear. Collab- it's a collaboration between Wild Barrel and the beers on me. And who's the other one? Uh, Craft Beer King. Craft Beer King. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know who they are. So, so. the liquor store, the Craft Beer King. Uh, the, it's a guy. Um, I think Mo is his name. He runs a couple of liquor stores up in the Inland Empire. A couple of beer stores. He's done a lot of collabs, does some Aero Lodge uh, stuff, and then, well, craft beer, uh, or excuse me, beer zombie. You, you're you a celebrity at his festival over there. Oh, uh, uh, yes. Okay. The, uh, and then you got, you know, Bill, old Wild Bill up there at uh, Wild uh, Barrel. Oh, Wild Barrel. Wild Barrel does it right. They're, um, you know, so so this beer right here, a uh, little, little bit of uh, East County San Diego trivia, the... Um, what was that little that beer place that was open in uh, where it's where Urban is now? It was um, Creative Creature before Creative Creature before it was Urban. Oh, Steve, don't do know. you remember that place? We went there for beers years ago. It's in the old Blockbuster downtown El Cajon. It's now Urban, and then it. Oh yeah, I totally. Do you right. remember what that was called? No, El Cajon, was it El Cajon Brewing? Yeah, it, it might have been. Yeah, but then they was. those guys like yeah. defaulted shortly right. thereafter. As right. as you would think would happen if you were to read the write up of. Like their business, well, they defaulted, right? And then they, they got rid of the brewing company after, I think, Urban or whatever. That's what we're drinking this beer in. That's that system. Really? That's the system that Bill bought to they, the the city of El Cajon, threw it up on their webpage for sale. Wow. Like you could go on the, the county webpage and, and uh, buy this beer. This well, beer now beer. Creative Creatures in that spot. They are with a little smaller brew system than. Uh, yeah, but it's they're legit. Wow, that is good. That is really good. It's like strawberry jam with like a creamy lactose. Like a, which doesn't sound like it'd be good, but it sits like right on your tongue, like a like a, like a blob of strawberry jam. Yeah, it is. It is tasty. That's pretty good beer. Uh, now this is kind of. I mean, to regress back into last week. This is what I thought Rowing Needles was going to taste like. Yeah, that no, in that's, that category. Yes, it was way closer to this than 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 what it was. What we ended up happening having uh, spilled a little. Sorry. So while Charlie's cleaning up that spill, and uh, we're enjoying these uh, these last few drinks, I'm liking it. That's really good. That's yeah. a, that's a really Wait, really oh whoa, whoa it's a sour, beer. Steve. You know what you're talking about? Yeah. Steve came out yesterday as a sour drinker. What yeah. he did? Yeah, where? He did. Just after the O post or whatever, I, I actually walked to the fridge and opened the sour. Like, I you drank it all by great. yourself? That's how, that sounds like it would be tasty. Sure oh, God, man. Yeah, that's modern crazy. times, the, the the main one they sell. Uh, Fruitlands? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, you can go that's, there anytime. Yeah, it's phenomenal. Well, that's for, a jump, too. Well, for me, that's... that's no, I, I, <laughs> I, I really like that's a really good sour, like kettle sour. It's legit. Yeah, no, for sure. I, I was really excited to see that. This thing's fantastic. Wow. So hey guys, uh, we're Chris, Steve, Charlie, and uh, we're we're thepodcraft.com. Uh, feel free to reach out to us, send us any emails, uh, www.thepodcraft at gmail.com. Uh, with uh, with any any questions, any comments, uh, and please com- consider recommending thepodcraft.com. 
uh, to all craft beer fa- fans in your life. You guys have anything to add? No, that's good. We drank some good beers tonight. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Cheers. On that note, cheers. See you next week. The Podcraft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.